All right, everybody, what's going on? Welcome along to the start of my Talos Principle 2 playthrough. This is a completely blind playthrough, and I've been kind of waiting about a month after release now, so hopefully everybody else has had a chance to play it themselves and get a good or get a good way into it. Anybody who is um, wanting to see me play through it. But yeah, really excited to go through this. Um, one thing I wanted to do for a long while is actually get an original Talos playthrough on my channel, but I've kind of deviated onto other things. Um, so yeah, I think in time I will probably get that original playthrough on. But um, anyway, enough talk about the original. Um, welcome into everybody. Hey, Nate Paz, what's going on? Good to see you. Uh, but without further ado, let us jump in and uh, start our adventure in the Talos Principle 2. Behold, child, you are risen from the dust, and you walk in... ...my garden. Hear now my voice, and know that I... I am muted, thanks Team Spen. I muted myself expecting a uh, some sort of cinematic there. Thank you very much for that heads up. Yeah, doing the char char slide, sliding to the left, and all that jazz. Alrighty. So we've got shift, we've got sprint, we've got jump. Do refamiliarize myself with the controls. Seems to be running pretty smoothly. Hold left to sprint. Yeah, left shift. All right, cool. So I'm guessing we're going to start off here potentially with some introductory kind of puzzles. I'm guessing we're going to need a jammer to start here. Nice looking jammer. I guess it's just going through the normal kind of stuff where we're, uh, if we haven't played the original and we're not quite sure what we're doing, it'll walk us through the first little bits and pieces. Ready? Another box. Just got to remember it's a hexahedron. seeming to be a, a little bit glitchy in the world right now. It sounded like there was something moving in the water then for a moment, almost like there's a, a frog or something. And line cables. Do 
you talking about, Team Spencer? This land is but a dream. You will stay here only for a little while. Soon, you will awaken in a new world. But first, you must undertake the trials of initiation. They will help me prepare your vessel. Okay. So, the old uh, sigil puzzle. The arranger, as it's called. Interesting. Three sigils this way. One, two, and three. Let's go right to left. Within reach is our first puzzle. Ah, there's... Okay. I guess that's what you were talking about, uh, Team Spen. The old uh, antlion cables. Quite nice. So... Nice and steady. The shapes you are collecting are not mere toys. They are symbols of the process by which our people were created. Okay. I don't really think there's anything we could possibly... I'm already looking at things and seeing if we can do anything sneaky. But I don't think there's anywhere that we can possibly stack these on top of each other and then jump on top because you can't jump two blocks high in this game so okay moving on we'll go to the L shape which is called fencing We're probably going to want to take a hexadrahedron from here. Pick up this one. And then we can possibly create a tower here. A thing that we can then put one and two and the three. As I feel like some of the difficult comes from the default FOV. Interesting, I thought that was a switch then for a minute. I don't really like tend to change like the, the, the field of vision. Uh, it's field of vision for various, so basically, like you see more or less of the your screen kind of thing. But it's like more of a hard to explain. It's kind of yeah. So like if we look, if you look at that, and then we change it just to kind of like give an example. If we change it all the way to 120. You kind of see everything's kind of like a little more zoomed out kind of thing, so I can see more at the sides, but it's. It kind of like a bit more of a kind of like narrows the view. Is that kind of like the right way to describe it? If we like change it to the default now, you see, like, yeah, I'm not as far back anymore. So it's like what it's kind of widen the view, but you don't see as much. It's yeah. yeah we'll play on a hundred. We'll play on a little bit higher than uh, normal, just to. Uh, See? Cubic steps. Yeah. If I just gotta put this on top and then jump from one to the other, possibly. Well done, my child. There we go, Team Spen. We can always rely on Team Spen for the, the technical explanations. Just 
We're having a good old look. See if there's anywhere else we can get. All right, so first area done. Well, I'm not sure that's where we need to. All right, so that's the yellow pieces. That's the red pieces. Now the real reason we all all play Talos Principle. Play the sigil puzzles. Alright, so we're on to yellow area. We have four sigils to collect here. Two L shapes and two the Z shapes, I guess you can probably call them. Let's go left to right this time. Static pressure. The reintroduction here of the fan, which is quite nice. But I think this is probably to teach people who haven't played before that you can pick up the fan and use it as like a box. <laughs> no pressure. And let's jump on the hexahedron and jump across to here. Nice that they've still got the, um, I've always appreciated in this game, like having the, the placements. So that you don't have to worry about getting jumps precise or anything. I really appreciate that in this game. The fact that it auto kind of places you on ledges where you need to be. That's pretty neat. Versatile contraption. Okay, so I'm assuming this is going to give me a challenge on all the different ways I can probably use the jammers, I guess. So if I had to guess, I guess I'm going to want to do that. Do both of those. Then there's a jammer behind. Actually, I can pick up that jammer, can't I? Yes. And oh, okay, got that wrong. Possibly. I gotta take that other one out, possibly. Okay. There's also a fan there, so potentially to jam. You may that. linger in my garden for as long as you wish. But remember, my child, that the new world awaits you, and this place is only a dream. It is only a dream. You can't jam, just want to check, you can't jam through... Oh, you can jam through them. Okay. Interesting. Maybe I didn't need to do that other thing that I just did a moment ago. Excellent. <laughs> yeah. I'm a little bit rusty from all the card battling I've been doing recently, I guess you could say. But yeah, I don't think I needed to take that off there and jam that, so, yeah. The overcomplications have already begun. Right, single slit experiment. Okay, I just need to jam that to be able to get to the red laser, it seems. There is a box that will be pushed by a fan. We can go up there, which I guess we're going to want to do, because it's not like there's a lot else that we can interact with here. So, turn the switch on. Gives us the box. And I guess if I block this laser, it's going to stop that fan, right? Then 
we can go and get this sigil. Alrighty. Oh, I see my first Do not be afraid of these dream figures and their messages. They are merely aspects of yourself. As am I, after a fashion. All is full of limitless beauty, and I wish to see as much of it as I can. I'm interested to see if the uh, paint buckets make a return. Okay, so we've got a fan piece. Uh, oh. Like, where did my fan piece go? So, want the yellow gate. To be a symmetrical puzzle, I guess. Pretty straightforward. Hey, Doctress. I am yeah, proud of all Good to see you. my children. Hope you are. Out of a world of ruins, they have built a new Jerusalem. And there, your brothers and sisters await you to celebrate your birth. Fundamental connection. Alrighty. Yes, this is going to talk teachers all about laser connections and how to use bits and pieces. Okay, so we need to bring that all the way around. Uh, yeah, I'm not too bad, thanks, Doctress. I uh, not really discussed it like much, but uh, I've actually had a mini operation I had on Monday, so I'm kind of recovering from that at the moment. But other than that, I'm doing pretty well, thanks. If I just walk all the way around, I could have just skipped straight through there. Classic look. Prismatic diffraction. Okay, so we take that away. But yes, we just need to connect down to there. I think so. expected to like fly through this early stages of this kind of just for anybody that's played the original game it's more of just like a refresher i guess so i'm sure everything will uh, get a little bit more intense as we progress through the game so yeah this is like teaching you that like angles kind of thing Uh, where was the blue, actually? Oh. Huh. What's there? Yeah, so... I need a different one. I was kind of, um... Yeah, I was kind of thinking that I kind of had to put it up behind, but... I guess not. So, I don't actually need the red one there anymore, do I? So, I could do that. And then I just need that. 
Yep. Yeah. Alright, I thought that was actually going to be a little bit different than it turned out to be. It's all good. What did they? Oh yeah, deselect look. That's really cool, actually. Certainly saves you having to kind of like reselect them all again like you did in the previous. It's a neat feature. Thanks for pointing that out, LB. Two colours, two doors. So I would need to keep this open for blue. Oh, I think this might be teaching me Sometimes you can place on boxes, possibly, to raise up the air. Okay. However... Still not there. Okay. Let me place that there instead. One more sigil. Ascension awaits. Preparing your vessel. Now, hear my advice. A new world awaits you, full of dangers and mysteries, signs and wonders. Things that I, in my garden, could never have imagined. In that world, you will have to be careful and smart and curious. But above all else, you will have to be human Alrighty. so i'm quite curious like i don't know if that's and i know it's a rhetorical question so i don't feel like anybody has to answer this but i wonder if like how you do this beginning section sets like any like anything up for the main game like, step into this... the light child and awaken with him saying kind of like oh i'm preparing your vessel oh your vessel has been prepared it just makes me think like is it doing something to prepare the game in, in some way down the line um give me two seconds guys and i will be right back and i'm back all right let's go and um the day i decide to start streaming the task principle 2 is like the coldest day here in the uk and uh Hands are getting cold, so I decided to get some gloves because I don't have central heating in my office, so... Uh, anyway, yes, let us, let us begin, let's go. Finish the calibration process. You're awake. Welcome to the world of the living.
This is cool. Um. Oh, you're polite. What a rare combination of traits. If only the algorithm produced more people like you. Oh, but I'm confusing you. Don't worry, everyone is confused at first. You see, we all start out without a full knowledge of our own history, so we have the freedom to form our own opinions. Of course. You want the short version or the long version? Let's have the long version. Or do we want the excruciating amounts of detail? Let's do it. All right, you asked for it. A long time ago, our ancestors dominated this planet. We call ourselves human like they did, but they were organic. They built an advanced technological civilization, but unfortunately their impact on the ecosphere caused changes in the climate and an extremely contagious virus was released from the permafrost. That's something our historians still debate. Why weren't they more prepared? Why did they invest so many resources into making war and so few into useful research? It's hard to understand. But no matter the reason, in the end, they simply ran out of time. A team led by a scientist, Alexandra Drennan, began a project that was intended to create a new humanity. But knowing that there wasn't enough time, Drennan initiated a process, a series of iterations inside a simulation that would lead to the emergence of true artificial intelligence. That's why we remember Drennan as the progenitor. The simulation was controlled by Elohim, who wasn't really meant to be intelligent in the proper sense of the word. But it all took much longer than anyone had expected. And over the centuries, Elohim actually became sentient. Sentient and afraid. He didn't want the simulation to end, so he tried to cheat. I feel sorry for him, really. The whole simulation was built around learning to defy him. It must have been hard to be in that position. When the simulation was completed, he became part of all of us, and it really changed him. It freed him, I think. You'll always hear him in sleep mode, taking care of you. That's what he is, after all. A caretaker. Yes, there was Milton, the intelligence in charge of the Archive, a project initiated by Arkady Chernyshevsky, which was meant to collect all of humankind's knowledge. His story is a lot like Elohim's, but Milton became the ultimate cynic. They say he's part of us too, in some way. It did. Long after our ancestors died out, the first new human was born. We call her the Founder, although the name she took was Athena. She then woke up Cornelius and Eustathius. Together, using the tools left behind by the Progenitor's team, they created ten more humans. These twelve who followed the Founder are known as the First Companions. Athena and the First Companions then set out to rebuild the world, and they founded the city of New Jerusalem. But then one day, she suddenly disappeared. Many still await her return. Before the Founder vanished, she set a goal for this city. We call it The Goal. Capital G and all. Original name. To make 1,000 new humans and so complete New Jerusalem. Well, that's the official story, the way the mayor tells it. Some of the first companions, like Byron, don't believe that Athena really wanted us to stop growing. They think her ideas have been twisted and embellished. 
They may be right, but I didn't see Athena very much in the years before she left. Maybe actually leaving the simulation and seeing the destruction left behind by our ancestors changed her mind. You're welcome. If you have any more questions, feel free to ask them. When you're done, head outside. They're waiting for you. Your birth is quite the event. Me? Well, as you can tell by my number, I'm quite old. I wasn't one of the first companions, but I did know Athena personally. She and Cornelius taught me a lot. Although I suppose I've made a few improvements here and there since those days, we didn't have a lot to work with in the beginning. Interesting, like she said that everyone's excited to meet me. So, am I number 1000? You've only just been born and already you step right into a major controversy. The goal, as most people understand it, was fulfilled the moment you were born. Yeah, there we go. Now, New Jerusalem is complete and we can live in balance without damaging the world like our ancestors did. That's the orthodox view, I suppose. But there are many who disagree. You'll have to figure out where you stand for yourself. You won't age like our ancestors did. But of course, there is always some wear and tear. You should probably schedule a checkup every decade or so. Oh, and be a bit careful with water. You won't die if it rains or anything, but we're running low on insulation material. I wouldn't go swimming if I were you. Hmm. I... I haven't really thought about it. This is all I've done for the last few centuries, and... I like doing it. I guess for now I'll just take a break and... We'll see what happens. Oh, one more thing. Like all citizens of New Jerusalem, you have access to the interface, which you can use to read the news, chat to your fellow citizens, and so on. It's a crucial tool, and modular too. You can easily add new functions. Just don't subscribe to too many newsletters at once. All righty. PDA. I was just about to say it's quite nice that we we're gonna have like it seems we're gonna have a difference in uh, like having to read everything in the first game and now we're just gonna get some like actual voice acted discussions as opposed to reading things. It probably like the one of my biggest problems with Road to Gehenna was like the amount of walls of text there was to read to pick up on all everything and, and get to know everything, but yeah, hopefully in this we're going to have some nice uh, voice acted stuff. So, please from me, let's help with the primary children of respect, regardless of their number. Don't take the founder's name in vain. Respect the principles of the goal. The Our Frogs People discussion is now banned. Inactive threads will be archived. If you have any issues, please ping the moderators. Jeremy, 832. Neem? Neem? I, yeah, all right. That person, number 11. And Aranax, 430. And then we've got all of our logs here, which is quite nice. All our different discussions. Yeah, we're at number 1K. 1K is our name. I guess we haven't, maybe, do we get to name ourselves, possibly? I'm guessing if they've got a, a red do not disturb sign, then we can't talk to them, I guess. All right, pretty sweet. Let's um, head on out and see what all the fuss is about, I guess. There is a thread I can read. Oh, sorry. This is a new Jerusalem. Your hard work and faith in the founder's vision has finally paid off. At long last, the goal established so long ago will finally be reached. The 1,000th member of our family will be born and our beautiful city will finally be complete. 
A space at the dam is limited. Tickets will be made available via a lottery system. The celebration will also be streamed. Just about things, man. Reconstruction of the chamber of the first companions, where the first companion rested until the founder awoke them. The original chamber disassembled in the early days of New Jerusalem. So this is Holland. So this is like where are these like the first like the original chamber? Is this like where we walked out of then in the original at the end of the original Talos principle? I guess. old Ian. Speech. This should be interesting. At least give him a chance. Dear citizens of New Jerusalem, many years ago, when the founder stepped forth from the simulation, this was a land of ruins. Our ancestors, in their hubris, undermined the natural foundations on which their world had been built. Because of their arrogance, our species found itself on the brink of annihilation. The Founder aimed to set us on a new course. You never even met the Founder. Her vision was of a city, a new civilization that would know its limits. It would not repeat the mistakes of the past, nor impose its will on this Earth. To that end, she set the great goal we have been striving towards. One thousand new humans. And today we have... Oh dear, what's that? Yikes, frames. People of New Jerusalem, I am Prometheus and I will reveal that which was hidden. The flame has awoken and summons you. Who is brave enough to answer its call? We await you upon our island where... Curse you, Pandora. You will not chain me again. I told you we should have investigated those energy readings. And I told him there's something up with those structures. The mayor's just being cautious. This isn't caution, it's stagnation. Exploration? Too dangerous. Expansion? Too dangerous. We barely even scavenge anymore. You call it stagnation, I call it balance. And I call you an idiot. Here's a thought. Try to be a little more diplomatic when you talk to the mayor. You see what I'm working with here, Wonke? I'm gonna need a fresh pair of eyes on this expedition. Someone who hasn't spent several centuries hearing about the goal and the founder and all that nonsense. If you're up for an adventure, meet us at the conference room.
to say this, uh, these looking pretty nice. Up there with a bit of a choppy frame rate right now. any like many there was no characters that were voice acted in the originals anyway so i guess they were just kind of keeping with um with that i guess various all righty nothing to nope nothing to add I mean, like, general game What's broken now? seems okay. It's just, like, cutscenes, which seem to be really poor. Constance, remember the goal. Affection is unchanging. Be humble, recognize limits. We are not above nature. I'm thinking it's just... Yeah. Same thing. All Way right. to kind of like That's show enough. off your. I know you're all having fun game. down there, but the grid is overloaded again, so. Maybe you could switch off your personal consoles or your lawn mowers or whatever the hell you've all decided to switch on all at once. I might not be around to babysit you for a while and you don't want stuff breaking while Pellegrino's in charge, do you? That's it. That's it. Don't worry, Wonka. I see you there in the elevator. I'll have you moving again in a jiffy. Great. I guess it comes down to like the whole thing from like the... the... Wasn't it the inroad to Gehina when you kind of like read some of the backstories? Like they were tr almost trying to um, understand humans and what humans did, and some of like the stories and things that they were coming out with because of their concept of like what humans did wasn't actually um, like reality. So maybe they just kind of like look back at the archives and they're kind of seeing that humans used to cut the grass so they're kind of thinking we want to be as genuine and as close to our ancestors as we can be so they decided hey let's let's get some grass and uh put some lawnmowers get some lawnmowers and cut some grass sort of thing i don't know possibly way to start life in the city huh? what the hell is a jiffy these bloody language libraries I just think sometimes when you when you kind of like got something to say and it's like in the middle of something then it's just easier to kind of not progress any further so yeah what to, wtf was that seriously what what the founder was that no i wasn't um so, what the founder was that thing in the sky we all saw it right it didn't accidentally turn on sleep mode well Herman was talking, did I? I mean, it's always tempting. No, we all saw it. I can confirm. I believe it's a sign from the founder. What else could it be on the day of all days? Pretty incoherent for a sign. It didn't even finish whatever I was. it was trying to say. What does the founder have energy insufficiency problem? What? What? Does the founder have energy insufficient problems too? The founder works in mysterious ways. Um. No. Oh. I don't know that we can really wade in with maybe it was a sign because we've literally just been kind of like born and I don't think we really understand a lot about their civilization and their town at the minute. So, I don't know. Say maybe it was a sign, I kind of feel like I would need to be understand the founder more. I'm just going to put it wasn't. I don't think it was a sign. 
Now the mouth of babes. How could such a remarkable display of only manager's power not be a sign? Oh, I accidentally clicked. It'd be a coincidence, technological answer. Exactly, maybe some old projector somewhere hiccuped and fired out this nonsense. Or maybe it's something important but broken. Or it's a hoax. Or it's nothing. Either way, Byron has been right all along. We need to investigate and find out. Riddles and puzzles are the foundation of our journey, so it began, perhaps, so it will continue. Yeah, I suppose, I, I, I guess I could have never really, I didn't have to click on one of the options, I guess. Kind of like a bit of a dumb uh, choice, I guess, really wading into a conversation when you don't really know all the facts, but interesting kind of picture. Unlike this... Is that kind of like meant to be... Like early robot civilization? Oh no, it's not robots because we've got humans here. Okay. But, no, that's pretty neat. It's, it's, it's cool that like even though they're like their own culture and their own civilization they're still kin to the fact that they descend from humans and want to keep that kind of like historical part and, and their ancestors heritage like in and amongst them it seems remember the goal action is unchanging on there. You're the newbie, aren't ya? Number 1,000. I figured the dam would go dry before we reach the goal. I have a question. How does it feel to you to be born with a randomised psyche into a society of autonomous thinking machines which so much resemble their long extinct ancestors they decided it's best that you're the last one ever made? Um... Okay, this guy, or this this girl, this this robot. Instantly, the numbers is a little bit weird. Number six six six. Um. Just a machine. Do you want to get on the non-cooperative path with me? Because that's how you get on the non-cooperative path. It's not fun. I feel like these questions are like very, like I said, it's like throwing you in at the deep end here, considering you're effectively new to the world and you've had very little experience in all of what's going on and, and bits and pieces. But yeah, I still don't believe in feelings. It's kind of frowned on to say that sort of thing around here. But the truth is, I think exactly the same. But let's you and I keep that between us, all right? Now, listen. This meeting isn't strictly happenstance. I have some friends. The kind of people who like to know what's going on with other people. They think you can help each other out. Mm. Are you sure? You right. might miss out on something juicy. I kind of want to keep myself to myself at the minute and just, you know, get a little bit of a lay of the land, I think. So. Suit yourself. Before you go, a word of advice. Not everything around here is how it appears. Yeah. Getting particularly great vibes from uh, 666 there. Please join us at the table. I would like to preface this meeting by saying I told you something would happen sooner or later and you didn't listen to me. And here we are. If we could focus on the issue at hand. The issue at hand is not this one thing, but this 
entire attitudes had taken hold. The world doesn't cease to exist when you stick your head in the sand, Herman. Or under a dome, as it were. Let's not get sidetracked. We're here to solve this puzzle, not to discuss philosophy. Yeah, can you tell me what's going on? I'm on a good start. Of course. I'm sorry you've been dragged into this. I'm sure this sort of adventure is the last thing you were looking for on your first day. Very well. Yakut, if you would. All right, here we go. Nice to meet you, by the way, 1K. We first became aware of the site-designated TTP-2 during a scouting expedition about six months ago. It's a large island with a remarkably varied geography, and it looks like there are several artificial structures of some kind. We recorded extremely unusual fluctuating energy readings from somewhere in the middle of the island, but... Yeah, I wonder what TTP could mean. TTP-2. Hmm. Couldn't really make sense of them. I wanted to go and have a closer look, but the decision was made that it was too far and not relevant to the goal. Now it looks like whatever's on that island has reached out to us instead in the form of that projection. We may not be interested in the island, but the island is definitely interested in us. I don't share your enthusiasm for the unexpected, but Byron has been requesting an expedition for some time now, and at this point, I'm forced to agree that it's necessary. I agree. Then it's settled. The expedition is approved. Byron, you will be in charge. Al will be your second in command to ensure a balanced approach. You'll take Melville and Yakut as you requested, and if 1K wants to join you, that's fine by me. Excellent. What happens if you say sorry you're not interested? Does the uh, the game just end? <laughs> sorry, I don't want to go to Talos Principle 2. No, I'm out. Oh, this is going to be fun. Come meet us out on the landing pad when you're ready. Before you set out so hastily, do consider exploring the city first. It is your home, after all. That's a good idea. Have a look around. See what you make of the place. All right. What do we got here? We got some. Chapter five of Whittington's cat and another cat that visits strange countries. Wait, is this like a like a Dick Whit a take on Dick Whittington? Yeah. No work about cats could be complete without a story of Dick Whittington. Whittington from. It's not operating procedures for addition, just uploading them to remind Byron. He'll probably ignore them anyway. Attaching a picture from an ancient book to get his attention. Maintaining the ideals of the founder and the goal priority for being the expedition members over mission completion. One expedition member to stay by the vehicle at all times. Expedition leaders should refrain from anticipating high risk activities. Minimize vehicle use to conserve fuel. Prioritize observation over interference. In case of emergency, return to New Jerusalem at once. Basic information about the island. The island designated TTP-2 was first noted during the return journey from a scanning expedition, which was diverted from its intended path due to an unexpected weather front. Long-range scans indicate the presence of large artificial structures and also returned highly unusual energy readings. The matter was not investigated further. In ancient times, the northern part of the island was home to several large settlements, but rising sea levels have obliterated these and flooded the north lowlands. South in stark contrast seems to be harsh and lifeless desert, but in our intended base camp is near the origin of the energy readings in the temperature center of the island. Just testing the system, see if it works properly this time, so we ha don't have another instant like where Pell Pellegrino uploaded his poetry to the public log. Wonder if that was like a jumbled up 
sort of thing. So I could kind of make some words here, but uh, yeah. Anyway, overthinking things as always. I dare say. Let's close. Cool. Do explore and come back to. You don't get to come back for a farewell. Okay. Uh, I guess I want to be going back to the where I came from then, right? What can I do for you, 1K? I believe we can exist quietly, happily, without imposing ourselves on this world, finding meaning within ourselves, and in the natural miracles that surround us. It was a time of great uncertainty. The Founder had left us, and our society was at a crossroads. History teaches us that during such times, terrible passions may seize the people. Madness, anger, revolution, civil war. Our fragile city could not afford such things. That is why the Founder gave us the goal, a path to equilibrium, not only for the planet, but for ourselves. I merely picked up where she left off. He is one of the first companions, and as such has done more for our city than you or I ever will. I simply wish he could be more reasonable. It's always a pleasure to speak to a citizen.